Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to do a floor workout. I have an awesome backdrop for you. Um, so here we go. So get a mat, towel, or whatever you have. We're going to lay on our back. Let me move my shoes. I didn't want my towel to blow around on me. All right, let's lay back on our backs. Our knees are going to be bent. We're going to start with bridges. So your hands are going to be down on the ground. And I want you to push into that ground because when you do, you're engaging those abs even more. And what you're going to do is your uh, knees are bent, your feet are flat. You're going to lift those hips up, squeezing those cheeks behind you. And then you're going to slowly go right back down. So lift up, hold one, two, three, then go right back down. Lift up, hold, and then right back down. You wanna go nice and slow, giving yourself this little hold up here, and then right back down. Making sure when you're up here, you're squeezing those cheeks behind you, working the butt, back of those legs, up, all right, on this next one, we're gonna hold it up. Hold it up for me. Nice, and what I want you to do is you're gonna bring your knees together and then you're gonna open them up. Bring your knees together and then open them up. Make sure to still be pushing into the ground and don't let those hips drop. Keep those hips up nice and tall, nice and high. All right. Keep those knees together and I want you to go down, keeping the knees together the whole time and then come on up into that bridge and then right back down. Now, when you do these, you can't go all the way up. You'll feel pressure in that knee. So just come up just a little bit and then right back down here. Just a little and then right back down. If that's hurting your knees too much, just go back to right here. One more. Nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the bridge, but when we go up, we're going to release one leg and then we're going to put it right back down. So come on up to the bridge, straighten one leg, bend it, and then right back down. Lift up, straighten the other one right here, and then down. Come up into a bridge, straighten that leg. We, all, we are alternating. Right now I'm using my left one, I'm gonna straight back down, all the way down. Into a bridge, kick that leg, back to a bridge, all the way down. Into the bridge, opposite leg, release down from that bridge. All right, you guys, we have one more to do on each side. Up, kick it straight, and then down. Nice job. All right, now what we're going to do is our hands are going to go behind the head. We're going to do crunches. What we are going to do is we're going to keep our knees bent. Our feet are flat. We're going to go up for a count of two. I'll show you what it looks like. And we're going to go down for one. So get those hands behind the neck. Remember, don't pull your neck. You just want to keep the hands right behind there, nice and comfortable. This is what it looks like. You're gonna crunch up for one, and then crunch up for two, and then you're gonna go down for one. So it's one, two, all the way down. Come join me. One, two, all the way down. Making sure your stomach stays nice and tight. You don't wanna blow it out. And be cautious of your chin. Don't be looking down or pulling that neck. We're going up one, two all the way down one two all the way down two and then down one two all the way down we're gonna do this four more times guys up for two down for one one two all the way down we have two more one more and then down nice job and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch up we're gonna hold our crunch and we're gonna uh, straighten one leg bring it down then we're gonna go down uh, we're gonna release from the crunch we're gonna crunch back up again straighten one and then go right back down 
Watch me first. We're going to crunch up, straighten one leg, and then down. Come join me. Crunch up, straighten the opposite leg, and then right back down. Keeping that chin up, nice and tight. Your stomachs are in. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, going down. Now what I want you to do is you're going to hold your crunch and we're going to alternate those legs. So we're not going to let that crunch go. So crunch right up, make sure that chin is up and just alternating those legs, straightening them. We're going right, left, hold that crunch. Make sure that stomach's in nice and tight. Keep going. All right, we're gonna do a countdown 10. 10, nine, eight, keep doing it. Seven, whoops, six, five, four, three, two, one more, one, and release. Woo! Nice job, guys. All right, come sit on up with me. I'm going to fix my towel. I had a feeling that was going to happen at one point. All right, you guys, um, bend one knee for me. Have the one arm out. You're going to be on your um, arm. Make sure it's straight down from you. This other leg is going to go straight. I'm going to make sure I'm in angle. All right, there we go. Arm's going to go over right like this going to meet that leg and then you're going to go right back down. Meet that leg and then right back down. All right, we're going to do four more of these. Four, three, two, last one. One. Now come down onto that elbow. We're going to do the same thing. Scooch some in frame. Arms up, legs straight, and now you're going to crunch it up and then right back down. Crunch it up right back down. We have four more. Four, three, two, last one. One. Now come all the way down. Get that arm in front of you. Same thing, bending this knee. This leg is straight. This arm's going to go here. You're going to come all the way up, right like that, and then all the way back down. Meet that leg to that arm. Come on up, go right back down. We have four more. Four, three, two, one more. One, nice. Now we're gonna do the other side. I'm actually going to, this deck is uh, hurting my hip. I'm actually going to fold this, give myself a little cushion for that hip area. All right, straighten that leg. First, we're going up on our arms. Knees bent, legs straight, arm goes over, and we're just meeting it. One, nice. All right, we have four more. Four, three, two, one. Now come down on that elbow for me. We're gonna do the same thing, arm goes over, and meet the leg. We have four more. Four, three, two, last one, one. Nice, now we're gonna go all the way down. Arm is gonna go straight. Hands, uh, arm goes overhead. Leg is straight and here we go. And you're gonna come up and meet it and then right back down. Up and meet it right back down nice three two last one one nice all right now we're gonna go on our knees if you can if you cannot that is okay just stand on up you can do the same exercise standing up all right I am going to scoot back all right we're gonna go on our knees nice and wide and what I want you to do is tip to one side bringing up that elbow on the other and then right back down we're gonna go one side at a time I call these little teapots because it reminds me of the song 
I'm a little teapot. All right, keep on going, guys. All right, we have five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. One. Other side, I have an audience. <laughs> Tip on over, making sure you go straight to the side. Right over there, crunching that waist, glove handles. Nice job. Lifting that elbow up on the opposite side. Reach for that ground. If you're standing, reach for your knee. you guys we're gonna go on all fours what I want you to do with your feet so you know how your feet are usually like this I want you to get up on those toes for me arms make sure are straight down that they're not forward or back they just go straight down from that shoulder what you're gonna do is tuck those toes in for me and you're gonna lift up off that ground just a little bit and hold 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 I know it's such a simple move but it can be so difficult. And then down, I am gonna move so I'm in frame a little bit more for you guys, because I'm noticing I am not. Oh. All right, you guys, here we go again. Tuck those toes under and lift up. Lift and holding. Just holding the movement, keeping that stomach in tight. Don't let it blow down keep it in nice and tight tuck towards that spine and release nice now what we are going to do is we're going to do the same thing i'm going to have you lift up your knees but then i'm going to have you tap one hand to the opposite knee and then reverse while we're in that position so come back up tuck those toes under right like this come on up just a little bit you're going to tap one tap the other tap one tap the other now you want to make sure you're not tick tocking back and forth if you find that you are doing that open your knees up just a little bit more and then that way you will not nice and slow no need to rush this movement one more right there and release. Nice job guys. Well, that is it for today. I'm not going to do the breathing technique because I'm not set up for it. And uh, I have an audience and now it's starting to get awkward. <laughs> All right, you guys, as always, please click that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that bell icon. It does alert you when there is a new workout. Peace out and here's to a healthier you.